So you're finally starting your YouTube channel. I get it, it's 2023 and you're a little bit discouraged because you don't know where, what, or how to start a YouTube channel. It's okay, I got you. You clicked on this video because you're ready to take your YouTube journey serious. In this video, I will be breaking these things down into sections, personality, technicality, and strategy. So make sure that you guys are paying attention because it's gonna be a pretty informational video. Let's get into it. When it comes to personality, you have to realize that you are one of millions on one platform. Alexa, how many YouTube creators are there? There are more than 1.9 billion monthly active YouTube accounts. Given the number with all those amount of accounts that are on YouTube on a daily basis, you have to think like what is it that I'm going to bring to such a large platform that'll be different, that'll make me stand out. What's going to set me apart from Sally or Susie? <laughs> I don't know why I keep mentioning Sally or Susie, but if you're an active follower on my channel, you know Sally and Susie make appearances every YouTube video. So if you're Sally or Susie out there, please leave a comment down below because we want to know where y'all at. I think one of the biggest things that first time creators on YouTube do, and I hold myself to it too, because I think I'm sure I've done it as well. We often try to mimic other creators, especially if you see like the platform that they have or the growth rate that they've had. So it's like, you know, we try to mimic that and it does such a disservice to yourself and your YouTube journey as a creator. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look back at your older videos and then you're gonna realize, wow, this is not me. And I'm someone who used to do that too because I used to look back at some of my older content and I'm like, that is not personally me. So I think my biggest thing to you is just to make sure that you're authentic. You know, you can throw a little joke, an insider type of joke that you and your audience will get like the reference I just did with Sally or Susie. You could make like a funny intro or an outro. You take you a little dance break or like a little lyric break where you're just listening to music. But you have to realize you just have to be unapologetically yourself. Because when you watch a Lynn Glover video, you know it's a Lynn Glover video. Ooh, this is probably one of my favorite because I literally have so many questions in my DMs to this day regarding what equipment I use, what softwares I use, how do I edit this, how do I get sound for this, and just so many questions. And I'm about to answer all of them, so hey, Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a family member, to tell the uncle, dad, cousin, sister, this is the video. You wanna know how I did X, Y, and Z? It'll be in this video, whatever it is. Hey guys, just wanted to jump in to make sure that if you aren't subscribed, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. I'm dropping some really useful and helpful tips. And the best way you can thank me is by making sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, giving the video a big thumbs up, leaving a comment down below, and turning on those post notifications. It would really boost the algorithm on this video, so thank you so much. And let's get back into the video. We're going to go ahead and get our filming situation out of the way first because I feel like that's the most, you know, important. We established that this video is going to be how to start a channel on your iPhone. By the way, this video is on my phone. When I typically use my iPhone to film, I typically like to use a cotton type of fabric or like a towel or whatever to like really, really, really get into that camera. Like wipe it down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Y'all know that song, Wipe Me Down? Yeah, wipe it down. What this is gonna do basically is gonna make sure that you optimize the full capability of using your iPhone. A lot of us have newer updated phones. These cameras, Apple has invested a lot of profit into these cameras for its purpose. A lot of people make a mistake of trying to use the front camera and you can't necessarily do that. I mean, I'm sure you can. I feel like, well, no, actually, no, I take that back. Apple invests more into the back cameras. That's just the fact. You can look it up. You can hear it from the latest new drops. They invest more profit into your back camera. Before you start filming, you need to make sure that your video is set to 4K and then 60 frames per minute. Just play around with it. You know, you're a new YouTuber, so just play around with it. Test to see what's best for you. Okay, you got your camera. Now it's time to focus on what are we going to use to edit. There are so many editing softwares that you can just play around with. In my earlier days of YouTube, my best friends were iMovie and it was another 
wow i cannot remember the app it was another app that i used to use oh god i cannot remember it, <gasps> it was video leap yep that's what it was it was video leap and iMovie those were my best friends like you could not tell me anything about those you couldn't tell me i wasn't a five-star youtuber like when it came to editing iMovie and video leap was my besties hopefully i'm sure iMovie has gotten some updates i'm not quite sure i personally don't use iMovie anymore but as of right now the it girl for editing is vn and CapCut for me vn and CapCut takes the cake for me i'm sorry you can't convince me you cannot convince me not only is vn and CapCut for apple and android wait for it wait for it it's free 99 i know i know free 99 you don't have to worry about spending any money on these apps and they're beginner friendly those of you who don't know how to edit don't know where to start they come with tutorials don't get no better than this i haven't even mentioned the best part about vn best part about vn to me is that you get to upload your video on vn and then you get to delete it giving you even more storage to make more videos then because i know y'all gonna ask yes i personally use a tripod and honestly <sighs> I'm sorry, I know I'm having, I know this is supposed to be catering to like just doing it off the dome, free, yada, yada, yada. But I would be lying if I tell y'all there's not one investment that you shouldn't make off rip. And honestly, if you're gonna go ahead and splurge or make the investment, get you a tripod, invest in a tripod. Rather that be a tripod that you can set up in the car or cause if you know, you you know, do things around that. Um, if it's just the tripod that I'm using that you can stand up wherever, however, my tripod's pretty tall. So, you know, it's a plus. I believe I got mine from Amazon. I definitely probably got mine from the Zon, but you know, I'm sure Walmart have plenty of amazing quality tripod. No, I'm not sure. I know Walmart has really good ones. Um, Amazon does too. I think I got mine from Amazon because I had got like a little package deal with like the ring light, the tripod, things of that nature. But you don't, you guys don't have to do that. Like you can get you a cheap one from Walmart, bada boom, bada bean. If not that route, you can always definitely just sit your phone on something. Yeah, you can definitely just sit your phone on something. Like if you guys truly don't have like the finances to do it, cause you know, everybody, hey, everybody don't got it. You know, I'm not judging. Hey, we all are on our own journey. So, you know, everybody don't have it to just go by that. So, you know, you can always set it on something, but what my advice would do if you're gonna do it like that. So for instance, if you wanna like set it on something like this behind a dresser, what I would do is you would turn it, you know, wipe the camera down, 4K, 60 frames per minute, set your camera up. What you're gonna do is go ahead and start recording. You're on candy camera. Then what you're gonna do is look at it and make sure that like the video is what you would watch. You don't wanna sit here and film a whole video and then you look back at it and it's, all disgusting, camera not wide, wop sided. And it's just like, no, you just check it real quick, go back to what you're doing. And I don't, I have a ring light somewhere around here. I have multiple actually, I have like at least three or four. Yep, but I have a ring light. I have a ring light personally. I mean, I use it somewhat, but for the most part, like in this video, I'm using natural lighting because I don't know, natural lighting hits different in videos. But you know, you know, if you wanna do something at night and you wanna have like a little light on you, you they have different settings. So if you want to, you can, but you don't have to, if you know what I'm saying. But it's an investment, it's all an investment. You gotta realize however much work you put into your channel, you're gonna see the outcome. That's just, that's just what it is. You gotta give some, receive some. When coming into YouTube, I want to make sure that you got a plan. Without having a plan, you're going to find yourself deep in YouTube, making multiple videos that aren't necessarily getting the engagement you want, the views that you want, the likes that you want, the comments, etc. And my job is to make sure that don't happen. So I got you. And when it comes to what you're going to post, think of it like there's a new student coming to school. Nobody's going to really have their eye on the new student because they didn't really do anything for us to just be paying attention. In terms of YouTube search-based content, those are definitely like hitters. Hint, this video that I'm doing right now, a lot of people want to know certain things. So, you know, search-based content is definitely something good to start off with. Also, if you have a talent, I 
capitalize off of it. Just in case you didn't hear what I said, I said capitalize off of it. For instance, if you're an artist, show us how to draw, okay? Some of us don't, well, no, I, I definitely know how to draw, so I'm not gonna say, hey, I'm not gonna point at myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, some of us don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? Like there are some people out here who don't know how to draw who would love to learn the skills. Start with beginner friendly tutorials on how to draw. If you're into beauty and you know how to beat your face to the gods and you know that there's other people out here who want to get into that, make you a video because there are going to be people out here that see you in person and be like, hey, oh, uh, you look really cute. Your makeup looks really nice. Well, how do you do it? What you're going to do is suggest them, hey, I have a YouTube channel my YouTube channel is da 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 da. Go look at the video, and there you go. It's saving you the time, get back to what you're doing, and then you got a new probably subscriber that like your personality, got something use from a, useful out of the video. You have an audience. You're building an audience. Given the fact that not only are you giving useful information, you are also putting your personal personality in and then they're gonna want to see other things from you but you know if you don't want to go that route you're gonna have to do some homework and find more trendier topics and go off of that fall is approaching you can do things based off seasons so for instance you know you can do how to make fall recipes decorate with me for fall you get the jizz with that given information it's best to plan accordingly like by month i've been doing this for quite some time so i kind of create my content like months in advance i wouldn't say a full year but definitely months in advance you'll get there but for now try to upload once a week no i know everyone might say twice or three times out of the week what you have to do is realize that you're just not starting out and if you try to overload content just to have on your calendar and just the post you're gonna get what almost every content creator on this platform has gotten everybody say it with me burn out do yourself a favor and make one video and try to upload between three to four times a month and lastly we didn't talk about the most i think out of all of this this is definitely like the most top tierish thing then get into thumbnails if you're gonna dibble and dabble or practice in anything it's how to make your thumbnail that is something that you should be focusing most of your energy on because what you're gonna have to learn to do is before you see my face you see the thumbnail they try to push your content out to people you know and if people see your thumbnail and it looks if it looks like the camera quality was bad the spelling might be off there's no playful colorfulness there's no just nothing that's like sightful to the eye it's not gonna get a lot of clicks Think about it when you go to look at a youtube video what do you see first do you want to see videos that have like plain jane like covers no nobody wants to do that i want i'm when i'm looking at a video i'm looking at who has a nice aesthetically pleasing you know thumbnail title nice things of that nature so you need to be able to learn how to do that first and then all the other things will just fall in line as far as what i use i use fonto yeah no i really use fonto and then there's this other website called the fonts if you want to find popular ones or trending ones you can go on TikTok. then what i personally like to do is i try to look at other creators videos that i'm gonna post and i'll look at their thumbnails look a certain way so let me just try and make my thumbnail look according to what everybody else is because if i seen that billy bob or sally or Susie thumbnail look like x y and z bet your bottom dollar i'm gonna have a similar thumbnail <sighs> you know what that smells like it smells like there's about to be a lot of new youtubers I'm excited like i'm excited there's about to be a whole bunch of new youtubers and i cannot wait like you guys, if you guys are just now starting out, be sure to drop y'all channels down. Like we support each other over here on this page. So, hey, I'm here for y'all's YouTube journey, you know? It'd be really dope to be able to know that I helped you guys out on your journey. So it's like, you know, if you guys are gonna start a YouTube channel after this video, please don't be a stranger to the comments. Other YouTube creators, hey, help each other out in the comments. You know, if you guys see things on other people's channels, don't be a stranger to the comments, ask. It's like a big community. You guys gotta realize that there's so much that YouTube can give people. So it's like, you don't wanna be stingy because everybody can win. Literally everybody can win. I just wanna say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video to the very end. I genuinely appreciate it. You guys don't even know, like this is gonna really 
of so many people out in so many ways. So you guys need to make sure that you are interacting with this video as much as you can by subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, liking the video, commenting, sharing it to a friend. Um, If you made it to the end, try to drop, let's see what like type of emoji we can drop. Laptop emoji? Do like um, a phone emoji. <gasps> yeah, this video is, uh, come on guys, I should have thought about this. This video is how to make a YouTube channel on your iPhone. So drop a phone in the comments, like an emoji phone in the comments to let me know that you made it to the very end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for watching today's video. I hope that you guys can stay on my channel to watch more of my journey. Thank you again so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Come in guys, I'm gonna give you a hug. I give you guys hugs every YouTube video. I think that you're gonna slide just because this video is like a like an advice video. So come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, up just got paid. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Thank you guys again for watching today's video. The sun is gonna go down. I'm gonna go take a shower. It's self care Sunday. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look around, everybody. Subscribe. <laughs>